one of the rules I've loved breaking most recently is tonality in general. I think the whole of the 12 tone system is a complete hoax. Because um, in the 1500s, it, what we're doing, Jacob, explain that equal temp. So equal temperament is um, the idea that all the semitones on the piano are the same size. They're all equally spaced, right? So that distance is the same as this distance, is the same as this distance. But before Bach, you had a completely different system of tuning that was based in physics. And so, you know, you knew about the harmonic series. So there's a note and you go, you know, all these harmonics in every note. Right, it's right. Physics. So like a triad comes from physics. Because if you, if you sing a loud note in a church or whatever, like a big space, you hear all the overtones come back and it's like, sounds almost like a major chord. So people began to think, okay, a triad makes sense. But if you really want people to play in using triads, um, it's difficult to modulate. <laughs> because uh, one set of tunings is only applies to one key. So if I give an example, the E in C major, if I'm in C and I sing the E that's in the harmonic series, which is like this. It's not in tune with equal temperament at all. Um, mm. That E is flat, it's 14 hundredths of a semitone flat actually. But the E that's the root tonic of E major is completely different. You've got like, and then, so, and then the E, which is the minor third of C sharp minor, is even higher. So it's like, man, crazy. And yeah, so all this, all this stuff is like, is really interesting because basically um, someone decided at one point that like 12 tones was a cool number. It's like, oh, let's do 12. It's like, now, now we can afford instruments that play in all keys equally, right? And what it meant was a compromise, like fifths and fourths are pretty in tune, but thirds are bad, really bad. Like the major third on the piano is way too big. The minor third on the piano is way too small. I've done quite a lot of research in this because I love it. But what I love now is like, man, if you're singing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, <laughs> and you go, um, <laughs> you go, they never let poor Rudolph do da do da do da do. There's no reason why an inner part, the alto, can't go do 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 do. And that's not, not real. That's because there's only four notes. But you can go do 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 do. And that's cool because it's fine. And all the ear hears is tension and release. And so if you make the release in an interesting way, that's cool. It's, fine. On, it's just like, wow, you don't need to listen to the piano. You don't have to be locked into anything. It's just you follow your, follow your zone, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs>